Uh, okay, hey, uh, Chris the Carpenter here, and uh, I stole this code from this guy, and I've modified it for pickaxe. It's running my eyes right now, which never show up good on camera, but we're going to do this. Let's go down on green, down on blue, so we only have red going, and look at that, we have red eyes. And how about blue? And there's some blue eyes. And we can fade this. And how about, um, close our green. How about some purple? Purple. All right, so let's, uh, let's do some quick mode code modification. The first thing I had to do is I had to stick a couple delays in here so my pickaxe could keep up. And I started with a port right 13 that's a control return that's just a qualifier so the pickaxe knows <clears throat> that's the start of the send and these three bytes are coming next and then here I went ahead and printed it so I get a constant stream of data down here and then in my pickaxe now this is mine's weird because I've got to go my serial port is my Bluetooth right now, so my, my serial, the serial out on the processing is going into my Bluetooth here, which is going into my main drive chip, but my, but my Blinkum eyes, these are Blinkums by the way, by Thinkum, ting, um, they run off of my personality chip, so I've got another jinky jinky to go from my drive to my personality and then out to um, my eyes, but... What I can show you now is, here's the basic receiver. I'll just show you how this works here. First line we have here, HSAIR setup. That basically um, sets up the HSAIR, uh, the H, H uh, serial uh, pins, hardwired, hard pins. Um, and all you got to know is just type that in. Um, 000, zero means it's, it's going to be sent and received as a true non-inverted signal and the last zero is um, uh, do it in real time don't do it in the background uh, symbols of course and then here this is how it works HCRN, um it's going to receive four bytes and the first bytes a qualifier which is 13 it's not going to do anything until it gets that 13 when it does that it's going to take the last three bytes and it's going to stick them in the scratch pad so this shenanigans is getting it back from the scratch pad we've got Start. It's going to start writing at zero. It's going to start writing at zero. So it's going to start reading at zero. Set the point at zero. Get at you know whatever's at address zero and stick it into byte temporary. All right. And then here let B4 equal temporary. There's the first byte. We're going to repeat that for the second byte. And repeat that for the third byte. And then in my case, now when I post this code, this ser out. This right here is what's sending that same data out to my personality chip. But when I post this code, this SER out right here, line 20, is actually going to be a SER text. So what that's going to do is it's going to take those three bytes and it's going to send them back via the blue, the, uh, the PICX sync cable back to the terminal. And the terminal looks like this. Is it F8, I think? So you will be getting those three digits here on your terminal uh, when you run the code, and that will, um, well, then you can see what the hell you're getting, and you know you're getting clean data. And then after you confirm that here with your terminal, you can go ahead and remove this guy right here, this SER out, all right, or, or it'll be SER text, actually. You can remove that. And now you've got your three bytes, B6, B7, B8, which correspond to B6, B7, and B8, all right, that are coming out of these three. And you can do whatever the hell you want to do with those three bytes. You can make them into, oh, let me talk to you. Uh, you can make them into uh, pulse with mod modulation codes and make things go faster well I guess they are pulse width modulation codes because they're dimming lights but you can turn them into faster or slower motors three individual LEDs a RGB LED which is actually three LEDs 
uh, you can do just about anything you want with them. So there's three bytes sent, received, bada boom, bada bang. And if you are looking for more information about this, go right here. Wait, do I have enough room? Right here. Ding! And uh, you can see all the information at letsmakerobots.com and another ting. Ting!